desde aquí, desde aquí. Well, thank you. Can you hear me? No, not so well. Now, yes. Well, this proposal is called uh, various changes of the PDP because initially there were some uh, additional changes in addition to all the ones now. But uh, as uh, there were new versions and discussing it with the community, apparently the community accepted just a couple of changes that are the ones in this version. Basically, the idea is that uh, the experience that we have with the PDP uh, in recent years since it was approved, I think it was in Panama, if I'm not wrong, well, we've seen a range of um, aspects and that needed uh, fine-tuning or improvement. The first of them is that I think that because of uh, translation from the English and other PDPs and how English is applied, we always speak uh, of abandoning a proposal when it's not that the author is abandoning, but is withdrawing it. And I think it's important to, to make, to express that difference because if not, it seems as if the author were abandoning the proposal, but it actually what happens is that uh, discussing it with the community and with the rest of the people, they decide to withdraw it. And then in the last call, the so-called editorial changes. The idea is to define that indeed we mean exclusively grammar, spelling, uh, or uh, or drafting changes that do not change uh, the information in the proposal. Why? Because the entire discussion process, when the proposal reaches consensus and it is ratified and it becomes part of the policy manual, whoever reads that proposal has no easy, direct ways of seeing what, how uh, things evolve to reach that proposal. So we've deleted a certain information then the, uh, it ma might be interpreted in a different way, different from uh, what uh, was the understanding when it was discussed. So these small changes are reflected as follows. First of all, in three, two, four. Uh, yeah. I think that uh, I lose part of the text on this money uh, screen well in three to four what we say basically is what we change is the aspect that i said initially instead of speaking of just abandoning we are speaking of withdrawing the proposal that is when a proposal doesn't reach consensus then the uh, one of uh, the powers and obligations uh, of the chairs as uh, uh, is in agreement with the authors is to see whether the proposal uh, warrants a new version or whether the authors decide that uh, the community has defined that it doesn't make any sense to go on uh, with that, so they decide to withdraw the proposal. So this is the first little change in this version. The second, and here I put, um, well, you may see on the screen uh, to your left in uh, black the current text and in green to the right the uh, proposal. And I, bo in bold types, you have the change. The rest is, uh, is almost the same, unless for some editorial correction. So what we do here is to say that and as a matter of fact, this happened recently in a couple of proposals. I think that one of them was a couple of years ago, and the other one was precisely what Tomas said that hadn't been ratified by the board precisely because of this reason. When, during the last call, the last comments, there are changes made, what we say is that really those changes need to be reflected in a new version. It's not possible to make those changes, and all of a sudden, in the policy manual, the version of the proposal was not not what was discussed, not even in the last call. So that is essentially what we're doing with this small amendment. So what we say is that indeed it is necessary, obviously, to restart uh, the last call because there's been an amendment, even when editorial in that last call. And uh, so that is basically, those are the two changes that we are proposing. And here in the last call, what we define is, in order to make it more concrete, is that the changes that are permitted in the last call are exclusively editorial in nature. And we understand as such, 
on uh, spelling, grammar, drafting, or similar, but but only if uh, the text has, that has reached consensus doesn't lose, it, lose any details, including information, so that uh, the final version is consistent with what was discussed uh, with the community. We cannot delete complete paragraphs that provide information that new readers that were not present in the discussion won't find it easy to understand it and may interpret the uh, manual in a different way. So with that, I would uh, finish my presentation. I have a couple of slides more. I think there's an additional uh, slide after we see uh, the impact analysis by the staff. Excellent. Thank you, Jordi. Wait a second. I lost the script. Well, we now invite Mariela Siris Rocha of uh, the staff of LACNIC to present uh, the impact analysis in five minutes. City means uh, girl. Good morning, everyone. So Judy has just explained the proposal. Let me tell you about the impact analysis. About the comments of the staff, we don't have any additional comments. Uh, but we do have a recommendation. This is a suggestion. We suggest um, making the most of this, uh, leveraging this opportunity to promote a, de a broader debate so as to somehow solve the inconsistency evidence in the non-ratification of the proposal LAC 2022-3 version 1. That inconsistency, say, since I have time to comment, has to do with the use of uh, minor changes, of uh, the editorial changes, using them as equivalent, etc. So that is was our suggestion. And as to the impact of the uh, systems, of the registry, in if this proposal is uh, approved, then we would have to update the policy system for it to contemplate the possibility of uh, including versions of the proposal and restarting the last call stage if there are any editorial changes. That is all. Thank you, Mariela. Jordi, please. So could we go back to my presentation? Thank you. Okay. Oops. There we are. In a way, I agree with uh, the staff's comment that it, it's also a time for discuss or to launch uh, in the community the issue of what do we mean with minor changes. But that is another phase of the PDP. So I understand that indeed it could be good to launch a new proposal. And I can do that myself. Let me try and discuss it in the list and uh, the policy list so that we may see whether we want to include nuances of the minor changes, but this is absolutely different from what is being proposed here, because what we are proposing here is in the last call. And, and, and the other thing is before reaching consensus, so they are absolutely different stages. So although I agree with what the staff says, I understand that what is not being suggested is that we should do it in the same proposal, but that we should launch it too, but not necessarily in the same proposal. That is, we are not requesting for a new version of this new proposal. I understand that. So that would basically be the issue. Thank you. Perfect. Now let's start with the discussion time. So we invite you to share your doubts, opinions, and comments on this proposal. We can do it with the proposals here. We have Franco Cabrera Blacknik. So the idea is that you have two minutes. Let's start with a proposal, with a discussion. Mm -hmm. 
Hello, Ariel Wehar. I'm speaking personally. Um, first of all, let me say that I agree with this version of the proposal. And second, I wish to invite the people who were present at the uh, policy proposal to remind them that this is the time you are invited to use the mic. So that's what I wanted to remind you. Please participate and welcome to this uh, great community. Ariel, I didn't understand whether you agreed. Yes, yes. Oh, sorry, I can't hear from here. Yes, I uh, I do agree. Thank you, Ariel. Yes, we also have the web questions. We have Zoom, microphones, and web. Franco, is there anything in the Zoom? Uh, no, there's nothing there. OK. Vamos a dar muchas gracias, Jordi. Ah, thank you, Jordi. If there are no further comments, let's now go. This went crazy. Sorry. Let's go to let's guard the temperature in the room so that we may consider it when measuring consensus. We are going to ask you to please raise your hand in three stages, whether you agree, you disagree, or if there are any abstentions. And the staff of LACNIC will help us count the hands raised. And for those of you in Zoom, you are going to receive a survey that may say uh, ballot. Uh, remember that we are measuring temperature and we are not voting on the proposal. So let's start. For two minutes, we are going to measure temperature. So those of you in favor of the proposal, please raise your hands. Keep them up, please. I think we are there. Thank you. Now raise your hands if you are against the proposal. Thank you again. And raise your hands, please, if you abstain. Thank you all. So proposal 2026 uh, version 4, various changes of the BDP culminates uh, its discussion on June 7th, 2023. So from then on and uh, in up to two, from here to two weeks, uh, we uh, as the chairs, we uh, let the community know whether we reach consensus or not. We invite you to follow the uh, proposal in our uh, policy list. Thank you. So a big round of applause for Jordi.